uh, there's an increasing recognition that um, mapping is not as difficult and complicated as they think it is. Uh, there's a recognition that uh, maps need to be more professional um, and um, they're, they're realising that they can be readily included in their sales process so that's why they're getting in touch with us. Okay, today I'm here with Paul Gager, who's an account executive uh, here at Mango, and we're going to be talking about franchise mapping again. Um, Paul, if you're a, a franchise customer and you're working with us to build your new franchise territory map, then the chances are that you'll be, you'll be working with Paul. So what I'm hoping to do today is get some information from Paul uh, about the benefits of franchise mapping and also what goes into uh, creating um, a franchise map. Um, so. Maybe we could uh, kick off, Paul. Maybe you could tell us uh, what, what, are the, what are the benefits and the features of a good online interactive franchise mapping system? Sure, Chris. Um, well, first of all, a, a map should be uh, very simple. It should convey the information very clearly. Uh, you've got to appreciate that somebody's seen the map for the first time, so it shouldn't be overly cluttered. Uh, it shouldn't overwhelm them with too much information. Uh, and ideally they wouldn't have to spend too much time on the map, they can find the information they need quickly uh, and then take some further steps, whether that's getting back in touch with you or taking some other further action. So that, that's basically it in a nutshell. Okay, um, so once the map system's been made, who's, who's the typical user? Who's using these maps inside the, the franchising organisation? Uh, typically we're working with the, the franchise development uh, director. Um, so typically they've come from a, a situation they may or may not be doing with some, something with mapping right now. Uh, they may have been using some ad hoc system, but uh, there's an increasing recognition that um, mapping is not as difficult and complicated as they think it is. Uh, there's a recognition that uh, maps need to be, be more professional um, and um, they're, they're realising that they can be readily included in their sales process, so that's why they're getting in touch with us. Okay. Yeah, the sales process is the interesting side. In the last conversation with Lawrence, um, we were talking about how the feedback we're getting increasingly is that where franchise mapping used to be kind of a, a back-end administrative task that you did sure. in the beginning, uh, the interactive maps are now an active part of the sales process. So, so how does that work exactly? Yeah, sure thing. I mean, obviously the, the definition of the, of the territory and, and the inclusion in a sales uh, franchise agreement is important. but. Uh, much more than that, it, it, it's a visual tool. Uh, people really like, uh, you know, visual resources. People get excited about a map. They can, they know places, they know areas, um, and, and so instead of just having tables and numbers and spreadsheets, it's really a great way to excite people uh, about the brand and about the territory, um, and, and just really get people interested in, in what you're offering. Okay, awesome. Um, maybe you could uh, give the viewers a quick demo um, of a typical franchise map and walk us through it. Sure thing. Um, okay, so what we've got here is, is a typical uh, franchise territory map um, that's able to be shared with uh, somebody that's uh, inquired with you, a prospect. Uh, this particular map is of the Sydney area. Um, you can see that, the inner harbour in Sydney. And the map is coloured by territory availability. So the, the areas in pink are already sold or reserved and the areas in green are available. Um, so if we zoom in, in a little bit and click on one of the available territories, we can see a pop-up of that territory uh, and some information about that territory. So the total number of households, the total population, uh, the population, the percentage rather of households uh, that earn more than two thousand dollars a month, uh, and this information is completely customizable. So. Uh, depending on the business requirements, um, we can include information about particular age uh, demographics, um, whether you're targeting uh, you know, early swimmers or for elderly care, that can be included in the map, Wh whatever the core um, offering um, and the core business concept is. In, in addition to just clicking on a, on a single territory, uh, we have some tools to help people uh, find uh, territories if they sort of haven't decided where they're interested in. Uh, so if we switch to our query tool here, uh, in this particular case, the, the tool is configured to find areas with a higher income. Um, so let's try 0 0.6, 60% of the people earning over uh, $2,000 a week and get results. And you can see here we have 25 matching territories that, that meet that requirement. If we view those as a table, 
they're listed there. Uh, and we can go through those and see which of those is the most interesting to us and, and then get back to, to the franchise or um, for further discussion. So th that's essentially the, the territory map in a nutshell. So as you can see, very easy to use, very easy to find the information uh, and, and very visual. Okay, I can see how, how the map is interesting and how it could be used as a great sales tool. So um, if, a, if a, a franchising company was looking to build a system like that, what does the process look like? Um, talk me through it. Sure. So it, initially we have a, a sit down or, or, or a virtual sit down over the phone uh, and figure out you know, what the business requirements are. Um, we then draw down um, you know, the, the data from, from open sources such as uh, government census. Um, so whether there's income information that's required, particular age bands, um, and then the map is built um, with those particular requirements for that business in mind. That setup process doesn't typically take very long. Um, we can normally turn it around in a couple of weeks uh, and we can have the map online um, in, in a relatively short space of time. Okay. And, and how much involvement is required from us? My, my understanding is that there's, there's a wide spectrum there. So some customers maybe sure. have a lot of technical capacity and mm -hmm. can set this stuff up on their own. Some people just want to focus on their core business offering and just have someone else handle everything in the mapping sure. department. Is, is uh, that correct? Yeah, that's right. I mean, there's really two ways to go. If people have the time and the inclination um, to get really hands-on and do the territory mapping themselves, um, you know, and if they're growing more organically and they really want to sort of curate the territories, uh, then the tool is really easy to use. Uh, with a bit of instruction, people can be up and running within a week or two. Um, if people don't have so much time or, or their plans for growth are, are, are quite, um, you know, aggressive, um, then, you know, let's say they want to open in, you know, 20 cities in six months, then our professional services team can pre-plan the territories, uh, populate the map with them, and then, then any final tweaking can be done uh, by the franchise or so there's, there's, there's two ways to go it's depend, really depending on on what the the outlook uh, is for the business okay that's really interesting so you mentioned their um, high growth uh, franchise companies I, yeah. I know that we're working with several customers who aren't who aren't just scaling out across cities they're sta scaling out across countries that's and, right. and yeah. entire continents yeah. um, could you give us an example of um, some uh, companies that you've been working with recently or some interesting Sure, uh, we're working with a lot of uh, fitness brands right now. Uh, F45's a, a very well-known example. Um, but there are many in the Pilates space, uh, 12 rounds. Um, a lot of uh, real estate companies, Harcourts, um, and, and dozens and dozens of other companies um, that, that are really uh, using territory mapping to, to, to sell more territories. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really interesting, Paul. Thanks for uh, sharing those maps with us and walking us through a demo. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you've got any further questions, you can contact Paul directly at paul at mangomap.com. Uh, thanks for viewing.